Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. A's Geometry Podcast. This is the first podcast of the 2009-2010 school year. If this is your first time, we're glad to have you. If you're coming back from last year, I'm excited to be back. Today we're going to talk about logic. Just going to do a basic review of logic, and then the second podcast, right after this one, we'll go a couple logic groups and go through the laws of logic. Let's get started with just the basics. By the way, if you uh, go on my eboard, this is my eboard, mandrecovics.eboard.com. You can freeze frame it and pull that off the screen. You can go there to get a PDF of everything we're going to do in this podcast. Just go to the Geometry tab and click on Podcasts, and you can download the PDF of all these slides. So, basic logic will start with conjunctions. Conjunction means an end statement. This and that. We use this symbol to represent it. And what you need to remember about a conjunction is that it's only true when. Well, think about it. If your parents said to you, for your birthday, we're going to get you a computer and a thousand dollars. And then your birthday comes along and you get a computer, but no money. Did they tell you the truth? No. They lie. That's when it's false. If you don't get both things. When someone tells you this and this, you're not happy with just one. You need both. So a conjunction is only true when both true. Okay? So when I say both, I mean P and Q. The conjunction P and Q is only going to be true if both arguments P and Q are true. Let's take a look at a couple of questions that involve this conjunction. So if P is true and Q is true, then P and Q is, well, like we said, true, no problem. How about if P is false, then P and Q is? Well, think about it. Again, your birthday, you're going to get a computer and a thousand dollars. No computer. That's false, isn't it? Somebody told you a lie. So that's false. If P is true or Q is true, but not both, so one or the other, but not both, what do you know about the entire statement? Has to be false, doesn't it? Again, conjunction requires both. So if one is true but not both, then the whole thing is false. Okay. What if P and Q is true? What does that tell you about P and Q? Well, if the statement this and this is a true statement, that means you have this and you have this, right? So, if P and Q is true, that tells you P is true and Q is true. How about this one? P and not Q. This is a little bit less simple. If P and not Q is a true statement, that means that P is a true statement and it means that not Q is a true statement. All right, so P is easy. P has to be true, so P is true. What about Q? Well, if not Q is true, what does that make Q? False, right? If not Q is true, Q is false. So here, if P and not Q is true, we get P true, Q false. How about not P and Q? Well, the same thing, but just on the other foot, right? If this statement here, not P and Q, is a true statement, then not P is true and Q is true. So Q is the easy one this time. Q has to be true. What about P? Well, if not P is true, what does that make P? P has to be false. Remember, negation is the opposite truth value. Because if not P is true, and it is, P is false. Okay. P is false, Q is true. Then not P and Q. So this is not the case that P and Q. Well, to do something like this, we can plug in some truth values, right? If it's not P and Q, then it's not false and true. Well, what's inside that parentheses? False and true. That whole statement is false, right? So if it's false and true in the parentheses, then it's not false, which makes the whole thing true. And the last one. If both P and Q are false, then not P and not Q is. Well, if P is false, not P is true. And if Q is false, not Q is also true. So the whole thing is true and true, which is true. All right? So that's a quick review of conjunctions. Remember, the key is you need both in order for it to be true. If someone tells you this and this, you expect both. So let's talk about next, disjunctions. So a disjunction is an or statement. We use this symbol, right, and we would read this P or Q. Or statements are generally going to be truthful. If someone says, uh, look, for your birthday you're going to get a computer or a thousand dollars, right, one or the other. If you get the computer, are you happy? 
Even if you don't get the thousand dollars? Yeah. What about getting a thousand dollars but no computer? Are you happy? Yeah. You were supposed to get one or the other. And man, we even let you get both. Bonanza. Sometimes you get the computer and the thousand dollars. So this is going to be generally true. When is it false? Only false if both are false. When I say both, I mean P and Q, or whatever the arguments are on the left and right side of the disjunction. Okay? We need them both to be false. So let's do a couple of with these here. When P is true, P or Q is. Well, if P is true, do I even care whether Q happens or not? If Q is true or false? No. I said I'm going to get one or the other. If I got one, I'm happy. So I don't care what Q is. The whole thing is automatically true. It's got to be. How about the next one? Q is true, then P or Q is. Same thing. I don't know what P is, and I don't care. The whole statement is true. Okay? P is false, and Q is false. Well, you're going to get a computer or a $1,000 for your birthday. No computer, no $1,000. Are you happy? They told you a lie, right? That's false. Both false gives you a false disjunction. P or not Q is false. Okay, so P or not Q is a false statement. Well, that tells you right away P has to be false, right? Because if P was true, the whole thing would be true. So that's easy. P is false. What about Q? If not Q is false, that makes Q true, right? Opposite truth values we need to get. So Q is true, but this is not Q, which makes it false and false. How about this next one? Not P or Q. Same as the last question, but reversed. This time Q is easy. Q is false. P, well, not P has to be false, right? Because if not P were true, then this statement would work. Since not P is false, P has to be true. When P is false and Q is true, then not P or Q. Okay, well, again, like the last time, you can plug in your truth values. If it's not P or Q, just take a little space up here, and we'll say not P or Q. What do we know? Well, P is false, Q is true. So this is not false or true. False or true inside the parentheses, that's true, right? False or true, no computer, $1,000. We're happy. So this is true, but the whole thing is not true. And not true is false, right? So that's what's going on in this one. You can always plug in values to get a truth value. Just work your way down. The last question, P is false and Q is true. Well, again, here, we can plug in some values. If P is false, then the not P is not false. In other words, true. And not Q also tr is true, right? Q is true. So not Q is not true, which is false. Well, true or false. What does that give us? Got the computer, got $1,000. I don't know which one. Well, I do actually. I got the computer, but I don't have the $1,000. Am I happy? Yeah, I'm happy. That's a true statement. So there's true. Right? Just remember again with disjunction, only going to be false if they're both false. These are generally true statements.